And happening here, another great night in Providence. It is a water fire weekend. Here to tell us about tomorrow night's lighting is Ed Cabral, manager of sponsorships and corporate relations, and Dr. Lynn Taylor also joins us this morning uh, to talk about the big, uh, the big weekend. So, so I'm going to start with you. First of all, why did you choose this theme? Tell us about the thing. Well, uh, this is our Art for Impact uh, mm -hmm. water fire season. And so what we're doing is this is our first uh, arts and health water fire lighting. And we're highlighting uh, he uh, hepatitis C. And Dr. Lynn Taylor will talk about it. And uh, it's, we want to use the water fire footprint and the audience that come to water fire to educate them and make uh, this issue, bring it, uh, some awareness to it. Um, doctor, there's, there's going to be a torch procession as well uh, at, at the beginning of the, of the evening. So tell us about that. Absolutely. Hepatitis C is the biggest infectious disease killer in the United States. Wow. And we're working to stop this and to eliminate hepatitis C. We've gathered together an extraordinary group of 100 hep C experts from every institution, every corner of the ocean state, embodying the camaraderie and cooperation of our medical and public health communities. A fantastic group. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, what, look, we hear hepatitis C, but a lot of people who are watching this morning may not even know what it is. Hepatitis C is a virus that is not communicated through casual contact, right. only through blood that gets into our bloodstream. It is everybody's issue. This is the most common chronic bloodborne infection in the United States. It's now curable. We can cure virtually everyone in a few short weeks with very safe pills. So everyone has a friend, a relative, a neighbor with hepatitis C. Right, so is this something, I know you're also gonna have a, a testing area there. We are going to have a testing area. It's so simple. It's, read, it's led by ACO, Saints Care Ocean State, and the Rhode Island Department of Health. Ray Joseph and Oz Lugo come every year. This is our sixth year. A simple prick of the finger. And then you go off with your grandchildren and your kids and enjoy all the entertainment and music and right. fires, and we'll get the results to you later on. And then you'll have some sort of, then you'll have peace of mind. Absolutely. And, and, and also this, to know. this disease, is it something, obviously, if it's caught early, you said you can cure this, um, that the, the sooner you find out, the better. That is very important. If we diagnose hep C early and we don't feel anything, so we all have to go out and get tested, right. we can avert liver right. scarring, liver failure, liver-related death. We can stop all of this. So the earlier we can find people, everybody should come out and get tested. We can take care of it and cure it. First virus we can ever cure, wow. history of the human species, wow. the pills. That's, that's incredible. All right, so Ed, so while we have that going on, there's also going to be a lot of entertainment as oh well. Oh my gosh, yes. So, so we're kicking off at 6 o'clock. We're having a performance, Much Ado About Nothing. It's going to be an English and Spanish uh, uh, version. It's going to be put on by Trinity Rep and Rhode Island Latino Arts. Okay. That starts at 6 o'clock at the Water Fire Basin. Then at later uh, on at 8 o'clock, we have a performance by Festival Ballet. And also, this is going to be a really special night because we will have clear currents, which is beautiful. 60 kayaks that are going to be paddling up and down the river oh, beautiful. with illuminated koi fish. Right. And so it just adds even more to the experience of a water fire. So what time uh, do the, the braziers get lit? So they, um, sunset is 8.02 p.m. All right. So we'll be lighting the fires shortly thereafter. So come on down. And it goes till around midnight, right? Yes. We, we will um, put wood onto the braziers every 20 to 30 minutes. So it you know, we'll, uh, goes right through midnight, as you said. Right. And, Doctor, the, uh, the testing area, where will that be in Providence? That in will case? be down on College Street. We have an education area staffed by Rhode Island students from every institution, very well educated and Canal and College Street, a whole education fair. Make sure to look up at our beautiful State House Dome. It is glowing yellow. It's an iconic symbol of World Hepatitis Day that's right. beamed all over the world. That's great. Can you hold up your T-shirt? Because you got a cool T-shirt. This is for you. All right. <laughs> Designed by a Rhode Island College student. Oh, that's student. really cool. Rhode Island defeats Hep C. This is for you. Shepard Ferry, our beloved graphic artist, designed this. Right. And I want to thank Boris Bally, my wonderful husband, artistic consultant, who's really the that's biggest supporter nice. of all, everything I do. Well, thanks, so folks. Thank you. Thanks, folks, for coming in. Yes. And I want to thank our sponsors, because yes. Waterfire oh, would yes. not be yep. possible without thanking them. So our sponsors for this weekend are AbbVie and Amica Insurance. So okay. I want to thank a big All shout great. out. Thank and the Rhode Department that. of Health. Yeah. All right, yes. thanks folks for coming in. All great, great information. Thanks, um, for more information on this, you can head on over to our website. That is roadshow.com.